So I call myself a coach, but actually I, I am many things. I do so many things and actually the only thing that all of them have in common is that I get excited about them. <laughs> I'm a coach, I write books, I publish meditations, I record audiobooks, I, I create content for, for other influencers out there. I, I do a bit of freelancing here and there and I love it. It's great. And I thought I'm gonna talk about writing books because I've talked to so many people and I've coached so many people who are in the process or want to start the process of writing a book. And I feel like book writing is such an interesting topic because it teaches you, I want to say everything that you need to know about your procrastination behavior, your discipline, your motivation. Book writing is so interesting. So many people have the idea of, oh, okay, I want to write a book later on, or I am, I, I'm, I'm starting a book, or I'm in the process of writing a book, but I can't seem to finish it. And it's interesting because it's so much easier than we think it is. It's so much easier than we say that it is. It is actually easy. And I can know because this January, the first two weeks of January, I published two books and I'd written these books in the span of a month. And does that mean they're low quality books? No, no, they've been read by many people. I've gotten great reviews. People love it. And these are how many pages in total? I wouldn't even know, but about 500 pages, I guess. Both books are completely different topics. I loved writing them both and they're they're finished. Now, I don't wanna say that I'm a professional author. I'm not an expert in this topic. However, what I do feel like I've got something to say about is this whole procrastination behavior. It is this whole motivation, discipline type of thing that we're all struggling with when we're in the process of writing a book. Because I've talked to so many people who are in this process of writing a book, I feel like I can say that almost everyone has trouble with that. There are so many people who've started the process, but don't continue. There are so many people who have got it going, but for some reason they lost motivation and they won't come back to it. Or there's so many people who are dreaming about it. And to all those people, literally what book writing is simplified by someone who's not a professional author or anything like that. So I can know, reminds me of that example, how darts, if, if I had to explain darts, it's just throwing arrows at a board and that's what it is and 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 it's it's simple in a way simple and what book writing is it's just putting letters on paper either with a pen or on the computer that is all you have to do and to make it even more simpler write one page a day that is literally what you have to do if you want to write a book this year one page a day is enough that's 365 pages then you'll spend one more week reading through it, filtering everything out. You're left with 200 pages. That's a wonderful book. This is literally all you have to do. I, I can't make it more simpler. So actually my whole point of this video is to give you that little extra motivation, either to start writing or to continue writing because it is not that difficult. Something I have noticed when I was writing or, or when I was in the process of writing is that, yeah, there were some moments where I lost motivation, but I always knew that once I started, once the first few words were on the paper, I, I got going, I wouldn't stop anymore. And, and that is what I know you have as well. Every writer has that. You know, once you're in that bubble, you're in, you're good to go and you can just roll with it. So anyone who's in the, in the process of writing a book, any coach out there, or any person who's not trying to be a, an expert author or like a professional author, because this is, this is just more about book writing as a sort of side hustle thing, as a, I want to publish a book. Um, in that case, it's, it, you can do it yourself as well. And I'll get into that later on in this video. But what I just wanna make you realize is that you can just do it. Today you have 24 hours. You're watching this video. The time that you're watching this video, you could have written at least a page, at least. It takes about 15 minutes to do that. And, and that is all the motivation I hope that you need because <laughs> of course it's not, else you would be writing right now. But this is in fact everything that it is and you know it and i just wanted to remind you of that now the, the other thing the other thing to this is that little devil that's holding you back from doing this and therefore i'm, I'm hoping to ask you a few questions that will get the devil out of the way because what's holding you back like seriously what is your greatest fear why aren't you why aren't you like why aren't you continuing the process what's going on why are you stopping yourself because that's what you're doing there's nobody else who's pointing a gun at your face saying you can't write anymore. It's not happening. You're holding yourself back. So, so a great question that you can ask yourself is just to sit down with yourself and be like, what is, what is holding me back? Either why am I not continuing or why am I postponing this so much? Why am I doing that? 
And why is actually not even the best question you can ask. Yes, why is gonna help you discover hidden beliefs and things like that. But the best question you can ask yourself in this moment is, all right, now that I know that this is happening, and you do because you're watching this video, you're fully aware of what you're doing. Now that you know that this is happening, what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Okay, you've been postponing your book for so long now that you're watching this video, what are you gonna do about it? And <laughs> you're continuing, you know, you've, you've stopped your book and you wanna continue. What are you gonna do about it? What steps are you gonna take today in order to you know, continue? And, and just watching this video, it's not an answer I'm gonna let you get away with. Give yourself a solid answer. What are you gonna do about it? And nothing is okay. Like, that's fine by me. It's just that you're the one who wants to finish that book. Now, some of you might have the idea that publishing a book is difficult, and I had that too. I've been in the process of publishing a book for over a year, and uh, that was another book that I chose not to publish in the end. However, I went to sit with people, we talked about it, and we talked about it, and it took years to, it, it literally took years and months for, for, you know, to improve everything about it. And the other books I published, I published within, like I said, two months. It was easy. And how I did that was uh, by publishing as an ebook. See, the truth is people don't really care. People don't care whether they read it on their phone, on their laptop, on their iPad, on their Kindle reader, on their whatever, people don't care anymore. We're living in 2024, they don't care. So now I understand there's a difference between I wanna publish a book because I wanna physically have a book in my hands because that's cool, and I wanna publish a book because I want people to read it. There's a difference about it, and, and, and both are fine. Like, both are good. I, I'm, I'm sort of a mix between both, but I've leaned more into the one where I'm like, I just want people to read it. It's fine. I would even give it for, away for free if I could. That's actually not true, else I would. So the 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 truth is that if, if you're this person who's like, I just want people to read my story, I don't care. You can easily publish an ebook for, for free. Uh, you can literally write everything in a Google Doc, Docs document or in Microsoft or however, which, which thing you use. You write it all down, you save it as a PDF, there you have it. You can basically share that. You can put it on your website. You can create a Gumroad account and you can sell it through there. You can put it on Etsy. You can put it wherever you want to put it. Now, another thing that's pretty easy to do is uh, publishing through Amazon uh, to, to create it on Kindle. So I think you would be a Kindle publisher, but if you just type in Google Amazon publisher, you get there. They're leading you through all the steps. All you need to do is download the Kindle application to create make your uh, PDF that you downloaded and change it into a Kindle version. And from there on, you can just publish it. Like it's that easy. This can be done within a day and, and, and it's live within a day too. I remember the first ebook that I published, which was somewhere one and a half years ago. I, I was working on it in the afternoon. I'm just gonna try, you know, I thought I'm just gonna try it, see what happens if I publish this. And the same evening I, I published a book and I walked out of my room and I, I said to my roommates like, hey, I, you, can, you can buy my book on, on Amazon right now. And they're like, what, how did you do that? And that is because things are so more simpler than we think they are. And I'm telling you this, not because this is an amazing tutorial video, because it's not, because I don't think you can do anything what I just said, but what you can do with it is remind yourself that it doesn't have to be difficult. It's not a process that takes years. You can just do it yourself, even just search on YouTube for something, but it, it takes about an afternoon to publish a book. Writing the book is a different story, but publishing is just easy. Now writing can also be done within a week. I know so many people who've, who've published great and amazing books in, in such a short time period. The Alchemist, written by Paulo Coelho, I think it was written less than a month. There's Casper uh, van der Meulen wrote a book within, I think it was also two weeks. He just challenged himself to do it. And if you're serious about the process of writing a book, it, it can be done within an afternoon. And I'm sorry for saying it, but it actually can be done. It, it, of course, it depends on how fast you type. But even if you give yourself two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, your book can be finished. There's no reason to take years about writing a book unless you're writing an autobiography about your life and you're including it from today and, and you wanna to include tomorrow as well. Then it takes time. But usually, most books don't really take that much time to write. Last thing I wanna to touch upon is the people who have finished their book, they just are too afraid to publish it. Same questions as I asked before. What is holding you back? What do you fear? And what are you gonna do about it now that you know that? That's all. This is literally all you need to do to publish a book. It's all within your hand, hands, literally. You're the person who gets it done or doesn't. Fine by me, but now that you've watched this video, you've sort of already made that choice. Over 50% of you is leaning into the direction of, hey, I actually wanna publish a book. So 
please stop watching this video and go right.